Hello and welcome to summer 2023 field experience. My name is Rachel Krauss and I'm your instructor. I have probably been teaching this class for about six semesters now, including summer semesters. Um, this class is, first of all, it is done all remotely, all online, although it doesn't say that. I live in Colorado. I used to live in Alva and used to teach on the Alva campus, but now I live in Colorado and I um, am an adjunct. I teach a couple of classes a semester. And so it doesn't matter if you're in Alva, Enid, Woodward, Ponca, or anywhere else, you can do this class from wherever. Okay, so what this class is, is um, I really, I provide materials for organization, and then the rest is up to you. So you have to complete 20 hours of volunteering or shadowing. Um, so on a voluntary basis, so no pay or anything, this can't be what you do at your job. Um, you're going to choose an agency, whether that's a school, a church, a, a counselor's office, a teacher, a professor, um, what, whoever you decide or wherever you decide, you're going to do 20 hours at least worth of shadowing slash volunteering to get some kind of field experience in whatever kind of field you are planning to do with your future career. So say you're wanting to be a school counselor, I would shadow a school counselor. Say you're wanting to get into sports therapy, I would you know, talk with someone that is in that role. If you're wanting to become a teacher, I would shadow a teacher. Um, whatever that is, I, I would suggest that that is the, the line that you go down. So the first thing you're going to do, which we're gonna go over due dates and things like that, is you're going to email me um, what you would like to do, where you would like to do your field experience. And then I have to approve it to make sure that it's appropriate for this course and what you're supposed to be doing. And then once you get my approval, then um, you can start on those hours. So first let's go through the syllabus. All right, so this is one credit hour field experience. Here's my email, rlkraus at nwosu.edu. If you ever need to get into contact with me, this is how you do it. I try to respond to emails as soon as I can, but also remember that I've got a job of my, you know, full-time job of my own. Um, my husband and I own and run a restaurant. So I try to keep my phone by me to um, respond to your emails, but also know that, you know, it's not always right away. I'm, you know, I have other stuff that I'm doing just like I'm sure you guys do. So I'll be patient with you as you're patient with me. Um, but I do try to get to those emails as soon as I can. So if you ever need to talk to me face to face, um, I'll set up a Zoom appointment for both of us and we can talk about any issues you may have. If you have any issues coming up with, uh, an agency at which you would like to complete your field experience, then we can talk about some options and maybe get you plugged in somewhere. Um, all right. So we've got several assignments. Um, all of these together equal 100 points. That's all you're going to have for the whole semester. Some people can get all of this done within the first few weeks, um, knock it out before the semester gets too tough. Remember, this is an eight-week semester versus the typical 16-week for spring and summer semester. So this is going to be Every, every class you take is going to be very fast paced. So you're going to have to get, get on with it and, and get going. But some people get this done way ahead of time so they don't have to worry about it later. Some people put it off and wait till later and then they stress themselves out. And some people draw it out throughout the whole semester and do a little bit at a time. Anyway is fine, um, but I, I do recommend not waiting until the last minute because it's a stress on both you and me. Okay, so we've got several forms. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six forms for you to turn in. You can find all of the forms, including and the syllabus under course materials on Blackboard. And then where you turn in all of those forms would be under the assignments tab on Blackboard. And they each have their own link to uh, turn them in. You can scan them and submit them, or you can take good pictures of them and submit them if you don't have a way to scan them. That's totally fine. As long as I can read them. And then you're also going to have three sets of discussion board questions, and they kind of go in chronological order. I'm going to post all three of them in case uh, you are someone that is going to get through the whole class quickly. Um, so you can just go ahead and get everything completed and not have to worry about it at a later time. 
So the first discussion board set of discussion board questions, um, these are all just responses to me. This is not something for other people to read, for other people to respond to. No one else is going to see them. It's really just so I can get an understanding of what you, you are doing, what you are going to do, um, what you've learned, what you've experienced, things like that. So the first discussion board, uh, said discussion board questions will be right as you're either about to start or right as you have started your hours. The second discussion board will be, you know, kind of in the middle when you're actively uh, engaging in those hours. And then the third set of discussion board questions will be at the end or after you have completed those hours. And it's kind of a reflection on what you have done. Okay. So um, let's see. All materials can be found on Blackboard under course materials. You must perform at least 20 hours of field experience on a voluntary basis by July 29th. Um, make sure to, so you can, you can do multiple agencies. Um, an eight, it doesn't have to be an agency. That is just kind of a blanket term for any place you can do these hours. Um, so you may perform your field experience at various several agencies, but also know that you're going to have to do all the paperwork for all of those. So that's going to be extra work on you. Not saying you can't do it, but just know that you're going to have to turn in paperwork for each one of those. OK, so to turn in the appropriate forms for each agency. Volunteer work performed must be pre-approved by me. If it's not pre-approved by me, I'm not grading anything you turn in for those hours, okay? It has to be approved by me first, all right? Uh, you may ask me questions at any time by email. Um, all forms have due dates to be turned in. Turn in forms under their respective links under the assignments tab on Blackboard. And these due dates are guidelines to help stay, help you stay on track. They are not concrete due dates per se. Um, as long as everything is turned in by Saturday, July 29th, as I have both here and there, um, they are really, if, if you follow all of the due dates, you will uh, finish and you will, in, in, in a uh, low stress manner, as you get those, those hours done, um, it'll be nice and spread out throughout the semester, okay? If you want to get it done sooner, that's fine. And if you wait to, you know, push everything to that last week, that is okay too, but I just don't recommend it. So the the due dates are guidelines. So if your email, if, if you freak out because you see, oh shoot, this was due a week ago, you know, you're in the, the beginning of July and you're like, oh no, this first log sheet was due July 8th or whenever that's due. You, you don't need to worry about e emailing me and make sure, making sure you can get the, the full points. You will get the full points, but just know that the, the due dates are guidelines to help keep you on track throughout the semester. Okay. Um, let's see. The discussion board questions are required throughout the semester. Make sure to look at the due dates and, you know, see when those are supposed to be turned in. Um, so the log sheets, especially, but really all the forms, but especially the log sheets must must have your supervisor's um, signature on them. And when I mean supervisor, I mean the person that you are conducting your field experience underneath. So that's not me, I'm your instructor. So your supervisor is, say you're at a counseling office, it's the counselor that you're shadowing, you're the teacher, the, the volunteer, whoever it is, the person that you are, you are doing your time with, that is your supervisor and that is the person that needs to be signing all the forms uh, for you. So um, make sure they sign them because also I will not grade them if, if I don't have verification of their signature. Okay, and then we have our um, course outline. So we you have you need to email me your choice of agency, when you will start, what you will do, and how it relates to your future career by Saturday, June 17th. So I've given you a little bit of time to get that figured out, to talk with me if you need to, um, but get, get that going. Um, Saturday, June 24th, the first two forms, the memorandum of understanding and the field experience agency form must be filled out, um, turned in June 24th. Uh, first set of discussion board questions due, uh, July 1st, uh, first log sheet due July 8th, second set of discussion board questions, July 15th, and then everything else, which is the third set of discussion board questions, second log sheet, supervisor evaluation form and student evaluation form all due Saturday, July 29th. 
All right, let me know if you have any questions. This should be a fairly straightforward course, um, something that you should not really have many issues with. If you do, of course, let me know. Let me know if something isn't straightforward to you and we'll get that figured out. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful summer, a wonderful semester, and I look forward to hearing from you um, what you want to do with your futures, what you want to do with your field experience, and um, I hope you have fun doing this. I hope you learn a lot. All right, reach out to me via email if you have any questions. Bye.